On October 18th, Happer Horsham High School held their yearly post-secondary fair during their hats period for all grades. We usually have about a um, hundred representatives, sometimes more, from various organizations including four-year institutions, two-year institutions, trade schools, technical schools, all military branches, gap year organizations, and even some employers. With many options available, students could take their future career path in any direction. We are looking for hands-on students. We're looking for the students that aren't necessarily interested in sitting and taking notes the whole time to get their education. We want students that are actually interested in working with their hands, who have a strong interest in working in the career in uh, automotive industry. Our university is the largest public institution in all of Philadelphia, so we have a, real, a lot to offer. We have over 150 majors to choose from. You're also right in Philadelphia, so it's great for internships, for jobs, things like that. Not only did the fair just give standard information, it gave students tips for applying. I am very excited. I actually just found out um, from one of the missions here that I can email her and get a fee waiver so I won't have to pay for Tampa. So I'm very excited. This has been very beneficial. It's good because like I haven't really talked to anyone yet because I haven't gone on my tour. So it was like a nice like preview of what I'm going to get when I go. Schools from all across the country attended the fair, even one from across the Atlantic Ocean. Our school is more of an arts, humanities, social science university, so we're definitely looking for the creative student who's a bit more independent, uh, mature, able to be uh, a student uh, abroad. You know, you're going about 3,000 miles away for school, so definitely something that's a bit more, uh, you know, able to live abroad and kind of uh, experience new culture. With so many choices ahead, the post-secondary fair is a great first step to planning. We hope that they use this opportunity to get some information, bring it home, talk with their families, and start to um, make some plans, and then come back and see their counselors so we can discuss how to make those plans a reality. For HHTV, I'm Amanda Treble.